All right, uh, this is gonna be the cleanup on aisle one type episode um, to go by Dark Minded Sith's naming conventions. Um, basically, just doing everything I can before moving to the next area of the game, so it's not gonna be the most thrilling thing. Uh, first thing's over here. I just never got that one. Um, I actually t uh, paid a visit to the fortune teller, Mer Lovely, uh, paid to see if there were any shine sprites um, and any star pieces I could find. Uh, that was the only thing that she was able to detect, so I reset after paying for it, and that was about it. Um, so I've got a bunch of job offers to do. I figured I was probably going to be uh, off-screening a fair number of these, but I think most of these are pretty basic ones. So they probably won't take too long. So behind Zesty's house. It's gonna be a little bit of backtracking, but nothing too major. So um, since I'm gonna be running errands for people, uh, that reminds me of a certain other Nintendo series that I guess I'll just kind of randomly talk about for no real reason here, and that is Animal Crossing. Um, I know I've talked about Animal Crossing at some point, and uh, yeah, hold on one sec, let's see. Goom free in front of Frankly's place. Okay. Anyway, um, I, I, first of all, I actually want to quantify this by saying I start way too many stories with, I think I've said this somewhere, but, because, like, I've been doing videos for a long enough time now where I don't remember what I have and haven't talked about in things, and, uh, it's kind of annoying, but, uh, Pretty sure I've talked about Animal Crossing before, and I don't know if it was in a stream or in a video, but whatever. Point is, um, I, what am I, okay, I guess I'm going back. Point is, um, I have kind of a history with that game, and not one that is really particularly interesting, but it's probably the same story everybody has with that game. They played it for a while, really liked it, got burnt out on, got burnt out on it, never really played it again. So, uh... Oh boy, 20 coins. I guess that's useful, though. So, uh... Started with the GameCube one. Um... I played the crap out of that thing. I eventually wanted to try and get, like, a full catalog by getting every single item, but that never happened. I think I did get every bug and fish. Never got all the paintings or fossils, though, because those are too random. Um played a little bit of the DS one. I didn't like it as much. Let's see. Are her... Fire flower, sleepy sheep, tasty tonic. Okay. I guess I'll have to remember what those are. Um, but yeah, the DS one, for some reason, I just didn't get into it as much. Um, and I think what ended up happening was, uh, I let, uh, Jenna borrow it once, and... She, like, there was, like, one of those open market type of things going on where people could go into your house and buy stuff if you wanted, and she ended up selling a bunch of the stuff that I wanted to keep, and it kind of pissed me off, so... Yeah. Anyway, Fire Flowers, 10. Sleepy Sheep's 8. Tasty Tonic's 3. So, 10, 8, and 3. And guess what? I don't actually remember where I'm supposed to tell this to, so... Uh, I have to go check again. I think it was, uh, one of the little dog guys, but I don't even remember. But yeah, that basically put me off of that game. And then City Folk, uh, is basically the same as freaking Wild World from what I've seen. Oh, here we go. Okay. Ten for Fire Flower. Sleepy Sheep is eight. Yes, Tonic three. Clearly 198. Man, I can't afford to sell anything, but here, I'm going to give you this money. Oh, I don't even know. Animal Crossing story is not going anywhere, so I don't really care. Credit card fraud. Okay, talking to Goomther. You know, I actually forgot that, like, pretty much every character in this game has dialogue if you, like, talk to Goombella next to them. It's kind of weird, actually, because, like, they actually had to come up with backstories and, like, not backstories, but, like, at least kind of, like, some little flavor text for pretty much everything. I wonder what she says about Luigi. Yeah. So 
what am I doing again? Talking to Goomba about credit card fraud. Somebody buy a bunch of catapults that launch balls of cobras or some shit. Well, it's not him. Let's see, Larson the Bandit. I think I know where this guy is. Is he back here? Because there's a bandit in a house back here, and he hasn't really done a whole lot yet, so I think it's this guy. There's only so many bandits that I can find, so I mean, I'll look in a couple more spots. If I can't find them in a few minutes, then I'll just off screen it. Found them. So, do I just have to beat you up or some shit? Oops, okay. So, wait, did he run somewhere else now? I guess I just have to keep tracking him down. Luckily, there's only like two other bandits here, so. Oh. Okay. Is that my first time falling into water in this uh, LP? Because, yeah, every body of water in the entire game just has these weird mechanical fish in it. I don't really get that. I'm pretty sure that there's, like, this little pool in Poshley Heights, like, way later in the game. And it's, like, seriously just this little swimming pool. And you jump into it, and you get hit by a mechanical fish. And I just remember seeing that happen, and being immensely not I'm not, I wasn't pissed off I was like kind of amazed and just genuinely disturbed about it in the first place like I don't even know so anyway he's gone yeah 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 I uh, could be down by the port he could be back there there's no way of really knowing so I will wander and talk about Animal Crossing some more. I think I found him. So never mind. And now we're off again. <laughs> God. I don't even have anything else to say about that series, really, but no, I was, uh, when I played City Folk, it was, uh, I basically found that it was exactly the freaking same game as Wild World, but with, like, one extra area in it, which wasn't all that interesting. And, um, that was when I figured out that the game had the grass that, like, wears down when you walk over it, and that really annoyed me. So I spent a massive amount of time making a uh, pattern to put on the ground that looked like a cobble road that, like, actually blended in and had corners and stuff, and it took me, like, a really freaking long time to do that. And as soon as I finished making this path, just basically never played the game again. What the hell are they doing? So yeah, these, uh, these jobs aren't giving a whole lot of great rewards. I mean, coins are good this early in the game, but you get them easily enough from fighting stuff, so... Eh. Guess we'll see how many more there are. I haven't been paying attention, really. Meet me by the docks. No, I'm not going to do that quote again. See, that one I remember because I actually uh, made a video. I titled a video, Oh, I Thought You Said Ducks, because it was Mario 64, and it was the Dire Dire Docks section of the game, and I'm like, hmm, what can I call this one? I know, I'll just give it a random freaking Homestar reference, like every one of my titles. I also made it one of 4,000 uh, old Kentucky Shark references because it's the only episode of Space Ghost that I care about at all. I do like old Kentucky Shark, though. Walrus whiskers, huh? Uh, here. Have, have a mushroom. Eleven coins. Okay. I wonder if he gives you more, if it's anything better. I can't, uh, do recipes yet, though, so... Don't really care. 
anyway, that was my City Folk experience, and then, uh, never ever played New- I wanted to call it Twin Leaf, no, New Leaf, I haven't played that one at all. It just- I didn't care. Maybe some point in the future I will be desperate enough to actually try that game, but... I know that if I pick up an Animal Crossing game, I'll basically get bored of it within a month, and it's not worth it, so... Whatever. Oh, what the hell? Uh, let's see what these other ones are. This one, I think you need to bring him, like, a tea leaf. And... Let's see. That one I can do. So, I'll come to the shop. I'll do the hooktail one anyway, it's just that one's gonna have to be off-screen, because that involves travel time. So, I figured I'd do the ones here, at least, and... That would be about it. I don't know. This is a really boring segment, I'm sorry. This is what happens when I uh, say that I'm going to 100% the game. Oh, wait, I can get the contact lens already? I don't think you actually get it until later. So, who's the guy I talked to? Uh, I don't know if those are in the Petalberg shop. I'm assuming they probably are. I don't know where else I'd get them. I think all of the, uh, all the jobs that are posted in the thing are technically achievable at this point in the game, so I assume I just have to buy them from there. Can I take on other troubles while I have this one active? Or do you have to, like, wait? No, I guess I have to wait until I... I don't even know. Whatever. So I'm gonna off-screen for a little bit until I do that. Um, also, wait, me. Uh, Mario's got some great hair going on there, but no, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll do that stuff, because it's not going to be particularly interesting, and then I guess we'll cut back when it's time to move into the next area. I'll show the results of these other things, but that's about it. So, yeah, cutting back. Murphy, you must have gotten my request. Good, good. Uh, truth be told, I've been a touch lonely here with no one to talk to. Since you're here, why don't you relax with me for a bit? Indulge in old Cooper. Oh, to tell you the truth, I've got a few things to say about kids these days. How long does this go on? Uh, like a minute and a half. Look at the freaking clip. Oh god, why? No, not, not doing it. Old man voice, rest of the time. Well, I found the guy. Uh, he's down here. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's try that one again. You can see him on the way up. Um, yeah, there he is. Oh, and there's a life shroom. How did I miss that the first time? Those are actually pretty useful. Alright, so let me grab that thing. And let's see what your deal is. Kubuk. That's that's the entire that's the only voice acting you'll get out of me in this one. Okay, no. I thought it was you. We used to be neighbors back when we were barely shell high. That's a lot of frickin' dots. Yeah, 
Okay, okay, this doesn't need to be voice acted, whatever. So, what's this guy's, what's this guy's deal? Okay, I had a feeling it was going to be something like this, actually, because, um, something that I, uh, found off screen and kind of briefly showed during one of those little clips is that, uh, you can actually get the, uh, contact lens. I don't know when the first point when that becomes available is. I'm guessing it's after you beat Hooktail, because I don't think you can get over into that section of the game before beating Chapter 1. But, uh... All you gotta do is just talk to the, uh, the, the toad, like, at the front of the shop, um, and then if you leave and come back, it's in the shop, so I'm gonna go buy that. That means I'll be able to get into, uh, West Rogueport, and there'll be various stuff I can do there, including, uh, this minigame that I just unlocked the card to, so I guess we'll be doing that. But, uh, let me find my way back out. Luckily, it's not too long of a trek to get back, because I could off-screen this, but screw it. Every time I do that, I have to resync the audio, and it gets to be annoying, so... That is why I don't, uh, don't commentate on those little short clips. If I do commentate on them, it's gonna be in post, because it's a lot easier. Because basically every single one of these videos, you don't see this, but I have to, uh try to, like, sync up the sound by, like, clicking the control stick while moving through menus and, like, bonking the hammer while counting down, and it's kind of dumb. But, anyways, um, yeah, I guess this is just gonna be, the whole section is just me kind of fluffing about and finding stuff, which is not so bad, I suppose. Um, Means next next one will be more progress. This is just kind of getting it all out of the way because it has to be done eventually. All right, so that should have cleared out the trauma center. I don't believe there's anything else left over there. I, I do like how uh, going to see Mayor Croup got you a leaf and nothing else. I thought you had to bring him a leaf. That was not the case. Okay. Yep. Everything's all taken. That's good goes into the other part of the town, suddenly 400 other jobs open up. No, I won't worry about doing any more jobs until after the next chapter, probably. Alright, so I'm going to buy the contact lens, get all this stuff out of the way. Actually, also, let me deposit the life shroom, because there's a probably going to be certain parts of the game where that will be more useful than just holding on to it for as a like holding on to it as a random keepsake because if I get into a not very challenging fight and like strategically let my partner be the one to like kind of fall in battle it will use it on them and it would be a complete waste of a life shroom so I'm just gonna do that also since I'm thinking about it checking the bad shop just in case there's something up here that I would want. Let's see. Don't care. Don't really care. I like this one, but I don't need it yet. Maybe later in the game. Don't really care. And don't care. And there's other ones which you can buy that are not on sale. Which are... Already have... Don't care, don't care, don't care, and already have. So, yeah, I'll come back for these at some point, probably. For right now, doesn't matter. Here, have your frickin' contact lens. Did you bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? A contact lens. Oh, sweet relief. Thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. I can tell from your face. Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. Yeah, super happy face. Um, anyway, uh, Mayor Croup said to, like, cook the tea leaf, so I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna do this for all the items that I have now. It does make them better, but it also, you have to go through, like, a long, annoying cutscene every time, so. Oh, so it's you again, huh, Mr. Stompalot? Well, my name is Tess T. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. 
If you bring me ingredients, my cooking skills burst to life and culinary magic happens. Want me to whip up something for you right now? What ingredients would y'all like me to cook with? So right now you can only cook one item at a time. I will do the turtley leaf. Okay, I'll cook up your turtley leaf. I'm going to mix these up for you, so you just wait a sec. No. Go going to force Brenda to sing that. Add a stick of butter, add another stick of butter. Do, 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 do. Another stick of butter. Do, 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 do. Sorry to keep you waiting, but I'm not entirely sure you'll like this, but... Go on, take it, Stompy. Mm, I suppose that's nice. Anytime you feel like it, feel free to bring me stuff to cook with, okay? Y'all come back so, yeah. now, you If hear? you cook a mushroom, you get, like, a fried shroom, and it heals, like, 7 or 8 HP, I think. So it's better than a regular one. It is worth the investment. It's just you have to sit through the cutscene, and I'm not going to do it on camera right now. So, we've got a whole new section of the town to explore. I'm going to see what I can find. There is a chance that there might be useful things here, but probably not. So you're working on that novel there? Okay, now. Okay, let's see if we get to hear any of this uh, amazing novel. I guess we don't actually get to hear any of it. Okay. I wonder if this, like, develops over the course of the game. Also, there's a little hole there. I can't go in that yet, though. I will try to keep that in mind for later. Knew it. Always freaking star pieces behind crap. having fun back there, buddy. He's like, I can be useful against flying enemies. I'm going to practice. Watch. <laughs> and I don't want to go there. Oh, yeah, lottery tickets. God, I am so not going to ever bother with those. Yeah, the Mafia makes everything better. Yeah, I'll be seeing the Mafia at some point. I'm not sure when. Don't mind me standing on my bed here. Well, you're the most useful character in the game, definitely. And I can't open that thing. Okay. Don't believe I'll get to see the, uh... The Don yet, but... I'll be in that general area soon enough. Or a very fat bob -omb. Nope. So what do you win from this? It doesn't actually say. Okay. I don't know. Don't really care. As long as it's not mandatory, I'm never going to do it. Uh, that is the rundown old shop where you totally don't need to buy a uh, dried shrimp in a dizzy dial and then say yellow. Nope, don't need to do that at all, so I'm not going to. I mean, why would I do that? It's not like it'll get me anything. And here's the parlor. The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that. Oh, we got a chuckster here, I see. That was a interesting callback. Also, I... Uh, that voice is going to be funny later, because, uh, there's going to be a different character that has that voice, and, uh, yeah. It, it, it's not going to match at all, and it's going to be great. Alright, so I can't do anything with the train. Don't really care about these people. I just love it! don't know why I'm talking to all these people. You never know, they might say something semi-interesting, but no, they probably won't. Okay, so I've been putting it off for long enough. Let's just go into the frickin' parlor here and play the plain minigame and get pissed off at it and waste all my coins. It'll be awesome. Uh, okay. Can I just do the game? How does that work? Oh, oh! Oh, this is just the scoreboard. Alright, um... 
I have to read all the wavy text in that voice. As long as he's writing, he doesn't know that's what anyone else does. Music note. Alright, I guess I'll get some piantos or some shit. I don't even know. <laughs> I am the piant- No, I'm not gonna do that. Uh... How many does it cost to play the game? Can I just do it without spending coins? I don't even know. Alright. Can I play it as many times as I want? Or do I have to, like, buy the coins, do the game once, and keep redoing this? I feel like that's what I'm going to have to do. But... I can hope that that's not the case, because that's going to get old real quick. I mean, that would make sense if that's what you have to do. Oh, it looks like you get more back in the game. Okay. Okay. There is a good strategy to this, and I do not remember what it actually is. And that was not the good strategy at all. Alright, um... Well, I didn't quite make it back. Oh, no, I did, okay. Also, the music here is very raucous. God, how do you do this again? I know that there is a trick to this, and I th think it's something really stupid, but... I think you basically... No, no, it's not like that at all. I think you just kind of, like, no, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Eh, no, not the minus 10. Eh, oh, almost got the time still. I don't know if there's a prize from doing this. I want to say that there is. I don't freaking remember. I'd have to look it up. I'll... Yeah, I should probably look it up right now, actually, because I don't want to have to come back here later, so whatever. Just uh, do it normally a few times, and then I'll look up a YouTube video of somebody who figured out how to completely cheese the whole thing, and then I'll come back and act like I discovered it on my own, and that I'm, like, an expert at this game and that shit, so. Okay, so yeah, I kind of remembered how to do it. Um... It's, I probably still won't be able to do it very well, but yeah, there's just this, there's this pattern you have to kind of get into where you, like, let it dip down and then kind of, like, let it rise back up, and you just do this a lot. It gets you a fair amount of distance, at least. And then the other trick is to, uh, hit A as soon as you hit the ground, and he, like, jumps a little bit extra. Again, I still don't actually know if there's a particular prize you get for doing well. Oh, shit. And I still got minus 15. Cool, I'm glad. Lord. Oh, well at least I didn't actually lose any, I just didn't gain any. Okay. I do want to see what happens if I get a good score. Um, so I'll do this a couple more times, and that'll probably be it for this video, honestly. Again, I know this was not a very thrilling one, and I apologize for that, but... What was I going to do? Like, actually make it interesting? Okay, how do I get this times two? And he didn't jump. I don't know, I still think that that was a pretty good distance. Not world record or anything, but... Uh... I don't even know. I'd like to try and do that jump thing just to show it off, but when I did it uh, the first time, he didn't seem to actually move after doing it. I don't know if you have to... I thought he just kind of jumped automatically to the side. No, I guess you have to hold the stick. That would kind of make sense. There's also apparently a TAS-only trick for this, but it's TAS-only, so yeah. And he didn't jump. Oh, I got 420. Okay, clearly I'm good now. I'll read up to see if there's some other thing that you get for beating this, but... Wait, what? 
Oh, no. I was reading, I was like, why is the 15 all the way at the bottom? But I misread that, I guess. Okay, that's enough of this, seriously. What do you get for the nades? Do you just, I think you buy badges with them. <laughs> Don't forget to actually do what you're supposed to. I'm guessing I can't really buy a whole lot for 25, but let's see. Cake mix. Eh. These are good, but not a whole lot else that I care about too much, so. Uh, that'll be it. Next time, actually moving on with the game and getting to new material and not being a boring section. Um, I lied. I'm actually going to do a little bit more because I forgot about uh, something that involves going into paper mode and not just this. I, I actually don't really care about her at all, but sure. I thought I did get a high score. Do I have to do the freaking plane game again? I, I did. I did get a high score in the plan game. Do I have to talk to you again? Did you not recognize that I did it? This is exciting. I'm glad I learned that info. No, okay. I'll shut up. Uh, I figured I... Oh, yeah. I have to take these, don't you? Okay. Yeah, I figured I'd show that off anyway, but it wasn't exactly thrilling. Also, hoop to do. Alright, um, what can I do while I'm here? I think this leads to the same place where, uh, the star piece collector guy is. Jeez, these things are freaking everywhere. Okay, can't get in there. I don't actually remember, like, where stuff is all the time, so... A lot of this is just actually exploring and trying to figure out where things are. Clearly I will make one of the clefts soft. And then it will be cleft the boy chin wonder. Even though that made no sense. You're a mouse, I don't really care about you, but I'm gonna talk to you anyway. And, yeah. Alright, so, looks like not a whole lot, but I wanted to check it just in case. And in here we have... A bunch of people that I don't want to talk to, yay! Sorry, I, I probably just shouldn't even bother showing any of this, honestly. I just, I want to see if there's anything important. What the hell? Okay, that was some great dialogue right there. I'll give it that much. Uh. No. I will actually admit, I, uh... When I was, before I started recording today, I wanted to check to see if there was any important stuff that I missed anywhere, so I looked at the list of, uh, like, facts for this game, and there is one specifically about that character. I didn't read it, but I guess he gives you just various hints and stuff. I might eventually look through that list of stuff. I'm not going to really worry about it too much, though. I see, I can't get over there. Down here we have an X that I can't do anything with yet. We have an enemy that I don't care about. We have a thing, star piece. That just leads back up. This leads to... Um, I guess just another section I haven't been in yet, okay. I think I do know where this is, I'm just... Again, having to remember all this. Oops, okay.
All right. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything in there. Gradual syrup. These are items that I'm probably going to hoard on, like hoard for forever and then never actually use. And this is a shortcut that I can't do anything with. Okay. I think that officially means I've checked everything possible other than the area that I'm actually supposed to go. So I now really and truly will end this segment and everyone can get on there with their lives. Um, I'm hoping that the uh, cleanup episodes for later are not going to be this bad. I just really didn't have much to talk about on this one and the uh, jobs to complete were really boring. But uh, I think those will get a bit better though. They actually do start having like decent rewards. And now that I've explored most of Rogueport, I won't have to do that again later, so. Once again, see you next time for going to the Bogley Woods. I have to read all the wavy text in that voice. As long as he's writing, he doesn't know what anyone else does. Music note.